Overstock. Looks like it wants to go higher. It's the number one momentum stock out there, probably. Hopefully this thing goes to, I don't know, 150 or something. That would be nice. <coughs> SHLL. Those of you who were awake last week broke out of a very nice setup. This is like textbook. Big momentum mover. It did have a deep pullback, but <clears throat> what gave it away was it started building higher lows, relentless, and got this really, really tight range, and then it broke out. All you had to do was be awake and stock that thing. <coughs> Twitter doesn't want to break out yet, but it also doesn't want to go down. It's still surfing this 20 day, rising 20 and 10 day. It's getting tight. Most of you, you know, it, it, it's a very good looking setup. For most of you, it's too thin. ADR is only 3.3, .3, but I'm just illustrating like what a good setup looks like. Just Amazon too. This thing just relentlessly builds higher lows. It's a big momentum stock. It just refuses to go down. It's surfing the 20 day and it's getting tighter and tighter. This is what you want to see in a setup. A big momentum stock that you know goes sideways, finds support on the rising 10, 20 day moving averages and then you know gets tighter and tighter. But Amazon is also a very low ADR stock. VIX is a bit similar, not as clean of a setup, but... Oh, CVAC! I'm covering some here. Nice, 200k so far. Let's, let's see if this thing can go to... Uh, sub 65 that would be nice microsoft uh, uh nah not not as good as amazon in my opinion grwg what's that yeah yep yep they had an earnings breakout last week i passed on it it was very thin like but yeah, these, these, these are the types that can, you know, double, triple, quadruple. If you get in at the right time. But you know, in a couple of weeks, there may be a setup on it. <sighs> VSLR. Uh, run is better. Uh, VSLR is getting bought out by run. I would trade run. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's it's a decent setup. Maybe a few more days sideways would be nice. JD had some uh, nice earnings. Breaking out of a really good looking flag. It's a slow moving stock, but I, <coughs> for me it's perfect. I bought the starter, uh, 40,000 shares. We'll see how it, how it acts. <clears throat> right at the mar, I rebought some on Friday, uh, third size, quarter size. Let's see how these things act. Maybe I'll add more. Since crypto, it, <coughs> it just keeps coming back. All these Bitcoin names. NVAX, I'm looking for a third day bounce short setup on that one. Oh shit, JD is killing me. I didn't see it went straight down from the open. I'm gonna use the lose for the day as my stop. Oh, man, that was a hectic open. Jesus. It always gets hectic when I'm trying to short these uh, momentum stocks. There's always so much going on. Ah, oh, JD stopped me out. Fuck. Took an $83,000 loss on it. What a piece of shit. Really? 
I thought it looked great. Oh, nice. Sivak taking out... Taking out the lows. For those of you short. Most of you shouldn't short, but those of you do, who do, that was like a five star setup. <clears throat> yeah, CWH is setting up, very nice looking setup. Oh, JD back hate when this happens. I should have just waited till it opened. I would have saved myself 83,000 bucks. Yeah, Amazon is a five star setup, a very uh, slow moving stock though, but you know, so. No, she's not a good setup. She's a horribly bad setup. Pets is also a shit setup. For those of you who were awake, the Redwin was a good setup five minutes ago. JD, I got back in 50,000 shares this time. I had 40,000 shares the first time around. Bought a little bit more shares. This is a really, really good setup. Slower type of a stock, but this is like a five star. And it's gapping up on earnings. That's like the my favorite type of uh, combination. Looks like I got stopped out of that NVAX. <clears throat> this thing probably wants to run to mid high 150s, I think. But if it fails at the 10 day, I'll, I'll reshort it. CVAC still yeah, it's building lower highs intraday and it's staying below VWAP. <clears throat> Gatos, if you bought it on Friday, that that wasn't a good setup. It wasn't that good of a setup. I mean, it was like three star maybe. You know, stick to the best setups. Yeah, let's stick to US stocks. I bought a bunch of Beely. This thing looks nice. Too slow for most of you, but um, it's been surfing the 50 day. And PDD also, another shine on him. Just surfing the 50 day. But these things are too slow for most of you, especially Beely. This would be in a half a million trade by f by now. No, sorry, it would have been a million dollar trade by now if I had a uh, full size. But uh, unfortunately, if you know, it had these two week days before the announcement, and that made the setup a bit tricky. Oh, trading is so easy. Trading is so easy that 99% of people who try m become millionaires. Easiest thing in the world. Facts, exactly. Like I, I promise you guys, those of you who are new to trading, it's gonna be the easiest thing you've ever done. The salt is an intriguing setup. I didn't see it on my scan since it was kind of thin. But it's a bit intriguing. Of course, all the time. You gotta build that conviction. That's why you need to study setups. You need to spend hundreds, if not thousands of hours studying setups from the past. That's how you build conviction.